Well, good evening, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 28th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew. Please subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like button. Thanks very much for watching today. We're going to start off today at the Disaster Center, looking at the most recent alerts, and most of them are flood warnings across the United States, as well as volcano warnings across the world. These three volcanoes just recently being updated. Planchon in Chile, Era in Japan. We have new cyclone development, Pola over New Zealand, or sorry, uh, Papua New Guinea as well. Popo going off today. High surf warnings in Hawaii, 5.8 in Australia. We're going to get to that momentarily. But that's right. 5.8 in Australia. As well, 5.3 today in Indonesia. A lot of earthquakes in the West Pacific Ocean today as well. But around the world, there are disaster alerts everywhere. And you can download this app yourself. If you look up disaster alert on your local app store, you'll find it. And it's uh, very resourceful. The only extreme cold warning right now is across Saskatchewan and southern Alberta. We're going to be getting to that at the end of the video in the five-day forecast. But two tropical storms to talk about. Still, Typhoon Wooten is a storm moving north. And then along the uh, atmospheric river in the Pacific Ocean. We're going to get to that soon. Okay, so yes, there was an earthquake today, 10 kilometer depth in Australia, Macquarie, as well as this 5.0 in Gisborne. Now, I just got the update and it, there, were, there was the default of a 10 kilometer depth, but when we look later, it is over 400. I'm sure, I forget, but we're going to get to that soon. So 5.2s and 4s going off in the Philippines today. Serengeti, Philippines. And this is the last 24 hours, guys. We have got quite an uptick across the planet right now. And we are going through a G1 geomagnetic storm from the space weather that I had broadcasted earlier in the week with my solar video where the sun belched. And now it is affecting our planet. Earthquakes in Iceland. 4.4. 4.9 in Greece. Continually in Greece. But when you have a lot of fours like this, you got to wonder what's going on. And we have a lot of deep plate movement. We're just going to get the last seven days for earthquakes. All magnitude. And let's have a C around the world what's going on and of course the ring of fire is always active but look at those deep earthquakes in South America Peru a large 7.5 last week as well this one today in Argentina that was a very deep earthquake 560 kilometer depth As well, deep earthquakes in Fiji, Philippines, a lot of new earthquakes in the Philippines and Indonesia. So please stay aware and prepared around the world. Be ready for a large seismic event as it, we are due for a big one in North America. So please, friends and family from around the world, stay aware and prepared because it could happen anywhere. But when you've got so much movement, everywhere else and then nothing here have to expect something this is the last seven days for earthquakes around Yellowstone deepest being the 3.3 3.8 that was the largest earthquake around Yellow Yellowstone so please Stay aware and prepared. Subscribe. 
share with your friends and family from around the world. And don't forget to hit that like button if you're enjoying seeing what you're seeing and enjoying the content that I produce on this channel, Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, where I post my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. Don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks very much. God bless you all for watching. I want to give a big shout out to everybody. Actually, I want to give a shout out to everybody, all of my subscribers from around the world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's all I want to say. Let's look at the five days and we've got a fast moving storm going across the United States and it's going to bring cold temperatures all the way down to Texas. But wow, a four day storm as it races across the southeastern United States and Atlantic provinces and then across the Atlantic to Europe. So watch as all this unfolds. So across Europe, you have the large low that's coming from Russia. We also have the large low coming from Greenland. They clash. So Ireland is going to be getting some heavy winds. You saw the tight isobars there. But most of Europe is finally going to get some moisture. They've been pretty dry for the last couple of weeks. High pressure ridge blocking everything. But here we go. The storms are a coming. We've got three low pressure centers developing in the five day forecast that are going to be heading towards parts of London. Scotland, all the way down to Portugal, as that uh, three low pressure systems are going to be developing there. We also have three here as well. Uh, one develops from the Gulf right there, and then another one comes in from the Pacific, and then there's another one coming here later in the week. So both sides of the planet dealing with large low pressure systems and numerous and that high pressure ridge, you can see the temperatures dropping across Alberta. Later in the week, minus 25. But cold temperatures are going to be dipping down in Texas to minus 6, if not colder than minus 9 degrees Celsius, with some pretty strong winds. So definitely with the wind chill, it's going to be like minus 10 to minus 15 in parts of Texas next week. So stay tuned to Morning Dew, and I'll keep you aware and prepared as I watch all these large low pressure and high pressure affect, sorry, affect our planet. And they're affecting our everyday life as these extreme weather events are unfolding across the world. If you can't see it, then you're not paying attention. So look up once in a while. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, we still have the reoccurring process of the large low pressure system moving into the Alaskan Peninsula, right in between Alaska and Russia. But this one is going to penetrate right away and is very large. So later in the week, I'm going to be watching that. But look at the size of this storm that's forming next week. Wow. And then another one forming behind it. As I said, I'm going to get back to my dailies every day as much as I can. If I can't do it, it's because I don't have time. But here's another tropical cyclone developing in the Indian Ocean, as I had predicted a few days ago. And we're going to have some type of atmospheric, atmospheric event in Africa the next few days as well. Going to be keeping an eye on that. South America. Daily torrential downpours across Brazil, Bolivia, as well as Argentina moving north into Venezuela. Or sorry, not Venezuela, but moving north. And here is a look at our southern hemisphere. What's going on the last, the next five days? So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah, there's about ten low pressure systems that are spinning around the southern hemisphere right now. Moving across the northern hemisphere. A few very large ones. Stay aware and prepared. Thanks for watching today. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Bye-bye.
If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family across the world. Thank you.